Hey, Sam. Hi, Philip. How are you? Good. How's it going? I'm doing all right, all considering. I feel like that's a loaded question in 2020, you know? Yeah, no kidding. How would you describe what quarantine experience was like for a family of 11? Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty crazy. But you know what? I think that's the biggest thing we can give our children is our time and being present because each of them want to share their story of something that happened in their day. And it's the biggest thing that happened to them. Although there's times when in your mind you're going, man, get to the end of this thing. You know, there are those times. You have handled criticism in a very distinct way throughout your career. And you get in this new environment in Indy, and I, I heard you talking about it, basically saying like, look, I decided to, to read some of what y'all were saying. Why'd you take that approach? It's a weird explanation, but it was just kind of like, I just kind of want to see, like, what, it, what it, what's the chatter? I mean, I've talked to these guys on, on Zoom. What do they really think? So what'd you see? To the degree of, you know, the one interception was just, unacceptably terrible. It was like, well, that's fair, it was. Or taking a safety that's inexcusable. I'm in a town where, you know, Peyton Manning, who's one of my all-time favorite, has set the standard pretty high here. And then followed by Andrew Luck, continued the standard pretty high. They're used to pretty good quarterback play here. I was the absolute antithesis of their guy. Two playoff game wins against the Colts. That was the last guy, you know, that they were probably looking to pull for. I do think it's really interesting um, to care more about the relationships, no matter who it is, especially towards the end of your career. I'm just curious though, do you think you could have done that well early on in your career when you were still kind of establishing your place in the league? Yeah, probably not as much. I think that's certainly come over time. There was a time 15 years ago where I would have been worried about what do they really think? It would have bothered me that someone doesn't really think I can make this throw. Now it's kind of like, oh, they don't think I can make it? All right, I think, you know, it doesn't bother me in that way. Look, Phillip Rivers was an outstanding quarterback, but right now he is too slow. He just can't move anymore. Yeah, and, and Rex, I'll, uh, I will agree with you. There's not one category statistically that Phillip Rivers is standing out for the Colts. I've laughed because I've gotten to watch a little bit the last last week because we played the uh -oh. four o'clock. We got played the four o'clock game. Hey Rex Ryan, Phillip Rivers been hot ever since you called him out. Since I've called him out, since we called him out. <laughs> well, he's been hot <laughs> since we called him out. Just tell Randy and Rex just to own it. Just to own, you know, they keep they keep arguing about who it is that, that said they were done. They just they can just own it. It's okay. We've gotten after Rex's defense plenty of times. He beat us in the playoffs. There's no hard feelings with Rex for that. But I was like, goodness, Rex, all of a sudden I can't play anymore. Have you watched any film? That's what I wanted to ask Rex.